I believe we're already all seeing the transformation that's been happening because of Vision 2030, whether it's in our personal lives, in society, through entertainment, through infrastructure, it's already here among us. Fortunate in that renewable energy projects are you know, fully aligned with that energy transition and moving the country towards its energy transition goals. And so for us as a renewable energy business, it's, it's almost business as usual. We just need to participate in those projects and help to drive those forward. Nasma is a family business that was established in Jeddah in 1979. Over the years, we've grown into a portfolio of companies across a diversity of sectors, for example, in construction, in transportation, logistics, shipping, um, entertainment, technology, among other companies, including renewable energy. What unites the Nesma group of companies is our commitment to our core values, diversity, respect, innovation, excellence, and impact. And this is how we approach our businesses, our clients, our partners, uh, it's also how we approach our employees and how we uh, look at our corporate social responsibility commitments. Saudi has been at the forefront of energy generation through its expertise in oil and gas, but as the country tries to diversify its economy, it's seen that renewables is one of the key areas where it can do that. And so with a massive program like the one that it has, you can now see that first tranche of projects are starting to come, and with that, it means that an ecosystem is beginning to develop within the country around the delivery of those projects. So that means all of the knowledge and capability and expertise that naturally comes with that will start to flow into the kingdom. And so you will get a number of people coming into the kingdom like myself, who have a history of renewables, and then working alongside those within the kingdom, within the region who also have expertise in renewables, but then there'll be the new entrance into that as well. And so that gives Saudi an opportunity to really start to grow and develop a bit of a capability that's parallel to what it already has in the energy sector. The South Jadanur project is a 300 megawatt solar PV project. It's using some pretty advanced technology on that site. The modules are bifacial, which means that they are able to generate energy from both the front and the back of the module. It is spread across an area of eight square kilometers. Just to give you a bit of a, a frame of reference, it's about as many as one and a half thousand football pitches. So it's a pretty huge site and a real lighthouse project for us and demonstrates what's really achievable. For projects like Dumat and Jeddah in the short term, I think that they demonstrate that renewables is viable in Saudi Arabia, which is really important. They signal to the marketplace that the country is serious about renewables. And I think that that's really important. And so being part of those projects is really exciting for that region be reason, because you start to see things happening and you're right at the forefront of things. In Saudi Arabia today, sustainability is one of the top priorities. So when we talk about ESG, I'll take it one by one. So E on the environment front, one of the biggest priorities had to be that we would separate our health and safety policy from our environment policy so that we can uh, ensure that each one of these gets its own uh, attention. As for the S, uh, NASMA is always known in the community for our social impact and our commitment to, to society uh, through job creation and employability, whether it's through supporting the Mecca fishermen, whether it's supporting uh, youth at the Nesma Training Center in Jeddah, or through Namat, a social enterprise that's providing jobs for women in villages by producing and manufacturing garments. And finally, G, governance. For the past five years, we've been enhancing our governance. We've introduced independence into our boards of directors. We've uh, strengthened our internal audit, our compliance functions. And that's really important for um, providing transparency, for providing good governance and accountability. What that can do for Saudi Arabia is it makes it a bit of a hub for that knowledge and that expertise. And it's at a really great point um, in the world globally where it's a staging point where you can go from Saudi into Africa or from Saudi into Asia. And that you can leverage that knowledge and that expertise and that capability that you're developing and deploy that into other regions. And so you don't just become an expert and deploy that only in your own backyard got the opportunity to share that knowledge 
and to develop those relationships with other countries and show what you've done and how you've done it and to be an expert in some of those other countries as well. And I think that as we grow um, along with the sector, there's the opportunity for us to seize those opportunities to innovate in the way in which we deliver projects uh, in all of the various aspects of things and to become best in class and to know how to translate that knowledge and that capability and that expertise that we develop here in Saudi Arabia into being an international player as well. So I see that that's how things develop for the renewable energy sector and that's the role that I would like to see us playing in that right at the forefront of things, challenging the way in which projects are done, driving things forward and being at the heart of making the decisions in what is going to be really central to the direction of travel within the country.